Well, you don't need a weatherman to tell you it's raining if you look outside. I mean, look at that. But what I can tell you is, unfortunately, some of this could be on the heavy side, and it's already been heavy at times. And what I can also tell you is that it could persist into the upcoming weekend. So a very dreary view to start the weekend off. And it is a lone shower. I mean, you see the coverage. It's pretty sparse, but we've got one that's opened up right over downtown Lexington. We have additional showers, some of the heaviest rain and lightning as you get down around Irvin. So we've got a uh, flood advisory, a couple of flood advisories in effect down there. A uh, heavy enough rain that you could have standing water on the roads and a little bit of minor flooding. And quite often those flood advisories can be precursors to flood warnings or even flash flood warnings, which is what we're going to be keeping a close eye on into the afternoon because there are additional showers and storms southwest. And it's all just gradually drifting off to the northeast, so they're not moving all that fast, and there is plenty of moisture for them to tap into. Just look at the 24-hour rainfall totals via the Kentucky Mesonet. Lexington site has had two inches of rain in the past two hours, 1.9 inches, almost two. An inch in Harrodsburg and Danville, and of course we've got additional showers, thunder showers firing. And these are going to have some pretty efficient rainfall rates where you could see an inch or two of rain per hour. And those numbers start to climb when you get a slow moving storm. So we have a flood watch out area wide. It goes through this evening in the bluegrass, southeastern Kentucky tomorrow morning. And this shows the excessive rainfall outlook, something we've been pinging in on, unfortunately, way too much this year, just over the past couple of weeks, really. But we're all under a slight risk for excessive rainfall, meaning you could see heavy enough rain that could lead to localized flash flooding. So watch out. LAX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track shows those showers and storms becoming more numerous, especially once we start to tap into some of that daytime heating, add that instability in. And any one of these could produce some torrential rainfall and some lightning, but the overall severe threat is uh, fairly low, which is good news. But just watch out for that. They'll diminish after sunset, won't completely go away. Still a few hanging on overnight. And then Saturday, here we go again. Additional scattered showers and thunder showers into the afternoon. Heavy rain possibilities. Uh, there's been some discussion as to whether or not they'll extend that flood watch into Saturday as well. So that's a possibility. And then Sunday, we finally catch a break. It won't be completely done, but I will uh, see, just kind of take our foot off the gas uh, by Sunday as far as the storm chance goes. Overall, we're talking anywhere from a half an inch up to a couple of inches of rain, but those numbers could be even higher if you have repeated rounds going through, and that's where you'd really want to watch out for flash flooding. If you've had heavy rain already today and you got another round coming in, look out. It's 77 degrees in Lexington. It is swampy out there. We've got a dew point in the low 70s, and if you look at the chart, that puts us right firmly in that swampy range. You've got to get much lower to have more comfortable air. We're in that steamy air out there, but with all the clouds and rain around, we've got below average highs. Our average is 87. We're in the low to mid 80s next couple of days. So three day forecast shows that likelihood of showers and thunder showers into the afternoon. Now it's yeah an elevated percentage, but there'll be hit or miss showers or storms, but you get caught in one, you're going to know it because you get that heavy rain potential. And then tomorrow it's pretty much on and off throughout the day. Saturday, the best day, the pick day of the weekend is going to be Sunday, the lowest rain chance. We don't get rid of it, but it does back off a bit. Unfortunately, it'll spike again after a little bit of a warm up and a reduction in the rain chance. We'll see the rain chance ramping back up and the temperature coming down. Could get into some potential for heavy rain again around next Tuesday or so.